Toyota has revealed the new generation CHR, a model designed, developed and produced in Europe. The compact class SUV is available exclusively with hybrid engines. To make the little vehicle more exciting, the automaker is introducing a mildly sporty GR Sport variant to the range. Pre-sales start in Europe in the third quarter of this year. No pricing details are available at this time. Toyota uses the GR Sport moniker for models with slight performance upgrades, whereas GR and GRMN vehicles have more significant tuning. So, don't think this Yaris Cross is a hot hatch. The Japanese SUV has a length of 4,360mm, a width of 1,830mm, a height of 1,564mm and a wheelbase of 2,640mm. It should be noted that the new generation Toyota CHR was designed and developed in Europe. It will also be produced on the old continent. Customers can opt for 20-inch wheels, a two-tone exterior theme, and inside they will find a digital instrument cluster with a 12.3-inch screen and an 8 or 12.3-inch central screen. At the same time, the passenger compartment has two times more recycled plastic than the old model. Step inside the cabin with its 2,640mm, 104-in, wheelbase and you'll notice a 12.3-inch fully digital instrument cluster joined by a touchscreen of the same size. Fancier versions also get a head-up display, 64-color ambient lighting, a panoramic roof, and a JBL sound system. Unlike other brands, Toyota is not ready to give up on buttons for often-used functions, even though screens keep getting bigger with each generation of a new car. Red accents in a GR badge belong to a new GR Sport Premier Edition with sporty touches inside and out. For a sporty look in the cabin, there's black ultrasuede with red stitching. Gunmetal silver trim is on the doors and instrument panel. The GR logo is on the headrests, floor mats, starter button, and steering wheel. The interior amenities include dual-zone climate control, heated front seats, and a 9-inch infotainment screen with navigation. Electrified engines. The range of engines is composed only of electrified engines. We have, for starters, a 1.8-liter hybrid engine, which develops 140 horsepower, 0-100 minus km per hour in 9.9 .9 seconds, but also a 2.0-liter hybrid unit with 198 HP. The latter reaches 100 km per hour in 8.1 seconds and a maximum speed of 180 km per hour. Those who want more can opt for the 2.0-liter plug-in hybrid engine, with 223 HP. The sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour is completed in 7.4 seconds, and the range in pure electric mode is 66 km. Later, a hybrid version will also be available, with a 2.0-liter engine and all-wheel drive. At launch, the new generation Toyota CHR is available in two special variants, GR Sport Premier Edition and High Premier Edition. Toyota is already taking online reservations in Europe where the GR Sport Premier Edition we mentioned earlier is joined by a High Premier Edition with its own subset of features typically found on the high-end versions. While the first generation model was sold in the United States, its successor won't be offered there. Online bookings have already opened in certain European markets. The new generation Hyundai Kona is here. Completely new design and four different versions, including an electric one. Hyundai has officially presented the second generation of the Kona Urban SUV. The new model brings a completely different design compared to the old generation and is available in four engine versions, classic, hybrid, electric and a more powerful N-Line version. Hyundai surprises us at the end of the year after officially revealing the second generation of the Kona. The subcompact SUV was first launched in 2017 and the new iteration is distinguished by a new design along with the availability of no less than four different versions of the new model. Thus, the new Kona will be able to be ordered with a purely thermal engine, a hybrid engine and an electric one, as well as in a more powerful N-Line version. The new generation of the South Korean model will be easily recognizable thanks to a new, futuristic design that promises to be found in several future models of the brand. At the front, 
we notice the headlights drawn in the form of an illuminated LED strip that stretches across the entire width of the car. Each version brings a distinct front bar design and the headlights are pixelated for the electric version. Also here we note the additional protective elements under the front bumper and in the fender area, which highlight the robust appearance of the new Kona generation. An interesting detail here is the integration of the secondary lights directly into the protective elements. The same design theme is found at the rear, where the taillights are drawn in the form of an LED strip, and the secondary lights are again integrated into the wings. The new generation Kona has grown in size compared to its predecessor. Thus, the new Korean Urban SUV measures 4,355 mm in length, being 150 mm longer. The new Kona is also 25 mm wider, and the wheelbase has also increased by 60 mm compared to the old generation. Four versions. Classic, Hybrid, Electric, N-Line. For versions with classic and hybrid engines, the Kona gets bumpers with protective elements painted in black and silver. The zero-emission version gets a bar with a new design and a special graphic in the form of pixels in the area where the air intake would normally be. Along with that, the fenders are painted in body color on this version, and the electric version also gets 19-inch wheels, plus an optional package for black mirror caps and a black painted roof. Last but not least, the N-Line version gets a more aggressive design that enhances its sporty appearance. And here we have an optional package that brings black mirrors, along with a black roof, a spoiler, dual exhaust and silver painted door sills. For now, Hyundai has not revealed any information about the engines of the new Kona. Simplified, digitalized interior. The new Hyundai Kona also features a new cabin design, now more minimalistic than before and heavily digitized. Here we have two 12.3-inch screens for the digital instrumentation and multimedia system, along with ambient lighting and a larger space in the center console area. Generous space could be achieved by moving the gear shifter to the steering wheel. 